Okay, this is a walkthrough for the installation of Slick Ticket. Very simple installation with the included installation program, as long as you follow the directions. First thing you got to do is just download it and put it on a server or on your local machine, run it as a website, and browse to it. Everything should work off the bat, and it'll send you directly to this setup page you see here. Start following the directions here. Start setup. Make a blank database named Slick Ticket. I'm going to open SQL Server Management Studio Express, connect to my server, which in this case is my local SQL Express, make a new database, slick ticket. If you follow the naming conventions, there's less customization you'll have to do, basically none. Now if that's made, go back here, see edit the slick ticket connection string, open that in Visual Studio. My web doc config. Here's a connection string. All you're going to want to do is change this stuff here. Add in a username password if you're going to go that direction. I didn't make a username password. I'm just going to use my credentials as they have rights right now. Uh, if you're on a host environment, usually it's a username password. Just change that, just like any other connection string. Then one more thing to notice is this must be run by an account with rights to read that folder. Make sure that that's the case. Go ahead and click this button. It'll build all your tables and populate them. Click Next. Now, uh, as you see, you'll see a list of AD groups you're a part of. Initially, you must pick at least one of these groups and assign it an access level. So basically, I'm just going to pick, I usually pick authenticated users, give them, I don't know, a three. If you don't understand the permission system, don't worry quite yet. In fact, you can look on the FAC once you get into the program. Okay, and then here you go, just fill out your profile. I'm going to go into my profile. Uh, username is populated through Active Directory, or your Windows account. Put in a phone number. Email prefix that auto populates that as well. You can change that if you want to. Sandespinski.net. Um, it's just going to give you these temporary groups. Go ahead and save your changes. And now, if you reload, you're going to see you now have this administration tab because you have become the first user and therefore automatically the first administrator. So we can go to settings either here or here if you're in an administration. And technically right now it works. It just doesn't have any features turned on, any of the extra features. Go into your general settings here. Things you probably want to change right, out, right away is admin contact email address. Um, that will, this contact form right here will email to that address. Change your system email address, or you could just leave it. Um, this is what the email notifications that go to the users comes from. Uh, you want to change your domain controller if you want to use the auto suggest feature. That's only for the administrators and using their permissions. And SMTP server if you want to use outgoing email. Other than that, everything uh, is ready to go. You can start using it right now. Uh, can restrict user email domains. I mean, all this stuff is optional. But uh, go to your settings page, fill that out. It explains about the auto suggest. Um, this admin information page, you'll notice here it's under information. It's got a lot of good information on setup, especially. Uh, it tells you what all the admin parts do. If you have more questions, a lot of them are answered here in the FAC. As you can see, you can add new ones as an administrator. This goes over the permissions group and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, very easy setup. Uh, I hope the program is useful to you. If you have any questions, just drop me a line at slickticket.com.